Well, of course, the, what the, we classify the risk as high risk, low risk, no? So, pag sinabing high risk, who are these? These are people working in laboratory dealing with blood products. So, mga med tech, okay? Any paramedical staff, actually. All of us doctors, everyone who works in the hospital that takes care of blood and body secretions. So, these are the most susceptible to acquiring the virus. That's why, kung papasok ka sa paramedical uh, profession, it's very important, and I always, I think I have to emphasize that, and please emphasize that also, no? That all those institutions who have or offering courses on paramedical professions, they have to screen the students pagpasok pa lang, upon entry pa lang. Because I get referrals, I get patients who were taking nursing only being screened on the third year of their profession of their their school tapos it did deny because they were found to be hepatitis B positive yung iba pinapa change na ng course at ayaw tanggapin how could that be i mean that's not the fault of the student it's the fault of the institution all of the paramedical professions should be screened at entry pa lang para maagapan Hindi yung nandun ka na, nakapasok kayo, that's trauma. That's traumatic for the student and for the parents. And uh, I've managed to wrestle with the registrar, no? with the medical director. I have to do that and wrestle with them. They have no right. And Dole already came out with a provision, now with a Republic Act. Not to deny people who are hepatitis B carriers from getting accepted in a job or they should not be removed from their job. So, meron na yan. We have published that already in the Inquirer, and that is the pre-employment guideline, which was formed by the Pathology Society of the Philippines.